this is skills tools today i'm going to teach you how to install and configure your siphon 1 and 2. siphon 1 and 2 is also called siphon shield version 3.1.3 and this is the latest siphon handler that just came out so first you have to install the siphon 1 and 3. so i'll go to my web kept it to install it so, okay install now I've started the installation. So Cyphon 1 and 2 has a Brazilian skin color and it will override your other Cyphon that is there. Cyphon 1 and 2 is kind of better and faster and takes less space than other Cyphon and like. But as I'm going to show you, I'll show you some disadvantages and advantages of Cyphon 1 and 2. So you just show you and watch this video. Okay, you can see I've installed it, so I'm going to open it. Okay, see how it looks like a Brazilian skin color. The same, I'm using an MTM, so this is my settings. Settings, HTTP. It will override your format and find that is there, so the settings will remain the same. So you click save. Only thing about this iPhone. One or two is that it has an internet speed meter, so you don't need to download the internet speed meter again. This is the internet speed meter that is charging. So this this place might not pop out sometimes. So if you want to remove this notification sign, just press this place. So the press at the right bottom corner, press it, comes out, it goes. You can see if you want to go to your phone settings, you press this first one. It goes to your phone settings automatically. So if you want to know about the people that made it, these are their names. Okay. If you want to go to your siphon settings, this is it. This is your siphon settings. So you put back. If you want to go to your change your IP in the siphon, you put these settings or that settings sign. Okay, you can see I'm using IP. This is my new IP. So okay, it's very easy to use. Let me show you again. Press the bottom right corner. It comes out. It goes out. So maybe on my network. Just have to wait. Internet speed. This is your internet speed, Mister. So I so don't really connect. Send me off it. So if you want to not open it, you press this connect button. It helps the cell one or two. You press my network. Okay, there's a minor issue. So I have solved it. So if you want to admit so my network immediately and on the siphon, my TPS will work. So you can see I just on the press this button to on it. I have this so once you press anywhere around here and this stops it. So just leave it. Okay, that's connected already. So this is how it looks like once it's connected, it shows a blue color on the skin. So this is the internet speed that this place shows your internet speed. Where this place shows your the uploading speed, where this place shows your download speed. This new siphon handler doesn't have those graphic scenes you see in your poor you see. Your other siphon handlers, you see some graphic design. This new one doesn't have it. So one problem I found with this site from one and two is that you can't test for IPs. So let me just change the IP to a young IP. So see what I press. Let me change it to three. Okay. So if you want to make this IP start working in your office. And connect it back. 
you can see that if you want to know if it's one is fake or not you can't know whether the app is not working or not because this this internet speed is not good in it. so if you want to test for an ip you have to download siphon for for light or something light handler to test for it so let me just show you x4 ip with the internet salad point zero three bird i do test for ip so this is siphon pro Okay, because it's the same configuration with the other one to start it. Okay, you go to start. You can see this graphic scene. It really, this net, this IP is good. But in those that one, you won't see this graphic scene. So let me change this one to one or two. I'm oh, sorry. You want to press this one? This so this is from the angle you found. Otherwise, you just want to it better. So you can see it doesn't show any sign of movement. That means that you not good. I mean, it's, there's no IP. But if you're using that cell phone, one the internet speed meter will still be reading. So you won't know that the app is good. So you can test your IP with cell phone polite and lab before you insert the IP side version one or two. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Let's see, let me put the correct one. Okay, two. Okay, one, two, three. So we go back and start it. So if you want to know that this IP is working, this siphon one out, siphon pole and the other moving. So I'm showing this graphical signs. I mean, the IP is good, so good. Just go look at the IP. You can copy it. Copy it. You can now stop your siphon pull light and go back to the siphon shield. You can see this internet speed is just reading. No matter whether the IP is good or not, it's just continue reading. So you just go back. Inside the IP. No, it's not as different IP. The IP will change so because I'm using an MTN, MTN, the IP is stable. So you all know that it's 10.1 and it's 2.2. Different countries have their different IP and different way of hacking it. So, you know, I start it. First thing that will start moving is this data speed. So, once this thing starts moving, that means the IP is good. So, you don't really need to work again. So, now it's connected. Very good. Let me just text the connection. Okay, let me show let me show that it's working. Many people know what the TBC is. That's minor I'm saying it's trying to make it slow. Okay, it has loaded. But I would love to download the movie from other TV series, but I don't really want to waste your time. So, TV series, okay. Let me just download the movie. Show you the speed. Okay, Shadow on Tower. This is a new movie that just came out. Just came out. One advantage about that Cypher 1 and 3 is that it's very fast. But the advantage is that. Oh, no, no, no. The advantage is that you can't read. You can't know that an IP is working or not. You have to use your Cypher Pro Handler to check for a working IP. So once it starts reading, Showing those graphical signs, that means the IP is good to go. So, I hope you understand what I'm saying. I've showed you in the video earlier. I just want to take the IP for you so you can see how fast it is. Yeah, I prefer MP4. Now, I've done this one before. Let me just go back. It's the episode 3 to the node.
go. And that's why I found one to be very fast. My one is gonna next. The speed is so good. So let me download it. Okay, let the download start. Okay, just started. Just started moving. So if you want to check your download speed, just go to your cell phone and check the speed. This is the internet speed meter. On my area, the network is not that good. So what you need can be faster. So this is what they call internet speed. This is your upload speed, this is your download speed. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more.